hanging out with Chef Darlene all morning long. How are you doing this morning? I'm still doing great. Thank you for having me. All right, good. So we whipped up the potato salad here in the last half hour. What are you making for us this round? So now we're going to move to the grill. We're going to go ahead and get some of these good hot links on here. Uh, and we're also going to do some grilled corn. Oh, very nice. Okay, cool. So um, and talk to us about the hot links. So these are, are what type of links? And on, the, on the spice scale, where are they? These are a mild spice. Um, they're good for pretty any much anybody's palate, really. They got a mild spice. So if you do want some spice to it, um, it's all in the sauce that okay. you put on it. Oh, good idea. Okay, good deal. Now, I noticed in addition to that, of course, you've got a little skillet going here. What's the backstory with that? That's just the garlic butter that I've been basing the corn with, which we're going to place on top once the hot links are partially cooked, about Perfect. three fives out. Okay, good deal. And so the cook time on the hot links, typically, what's a, what's a ballpark? How long do we normally let those go? What are we looking for to know that they're ready? Um, a good char, some good caramelization on there. Um, but I would say, give or take, eight to ten minutes, depending on propane grill, charcoal grill, and depending on how hot char right. your grill is. Very nice. Okay, and then also on the corn, we'll throw that on in between our live hits here. Yes. What type of cook time on the corn, and, and what exactly should that look like when it's done? Uh, definitely some good color to it. Um, you're going to look see some good char on the corn as okay. well. Uh, it's going to be soft to bite, uh, but just like I said, if it's the viewer's choice, if they like, um, you know, a good caramelization, a good char, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. I love it. All right, so guys, let's bring it back over here to the counter. We started off with the potato salad, at yes. least the ingredients there. When you, you'll show us the finished product here. Absolutely. Let's take a look at this and see what's going on. This is it right here. Go ahead and top it off with some fresh paprika, and there you go. It's good to go. All right, there you have it. Of course, Char Chef Darlene is uh, here with us whipping up some things. I got to tell you, we're going to have a couple of musicians here through this hour as well because it's a jazz and blues fest. Come on over. We'll bring you on over. How's it going this morning? Good, Evan. How are you? I'm doing well. All right, so introduce yourself to the folks at home and uh, tell us what you'll be doing here this coming weekend. This coming weekend, we'll be at the Juneteenth Fest down at the African American Museum down in Fulton. My name's Al Turner. I'll be with the Papa Bear Tribute Band. No, and Al, for folks that aren't familiar with them, so you're going to be one of the, the jazz artists, would you put yourself more in the jazz or the blues realm? You know, we play a variety of everything. We play from the American songbook, we play jazz, we play blues, and we play the R&B stuff. Oh, I love it. All right, perfect. So talk to us about Papa Bear. For folks at home that aren't familiar, they hear the name Papa Bear and it's a tribute band. What type of music did Papa Bear play? What was he known for? Again, like I was mentioning, we did a variety of all kinds of music, particularly blues and jazz to start out. But later on, as we matriculated and started doing all kinds of events, we broadened our musical horizon, and we can play just about anything. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, they are getting uh, fired up here, and we're going to get a chance to hear a little bit from them here coming up just a little bit later in the show. Uh, just to recap, of course, the Jazz and Blues Fest is going to be going on Friday and Saturday, the first night at the African American Museum, and then Saturday right there in downtown Fresno. Uh, you can find more information for that on our website. It's the Juneteenth Jazz and Blues Fest, and we want to thank you guys for coming in. Of course, we'll let them get back so they can warm up. Chef Darlene's got more great dishes for us there. And stay with us. We'll have, of course, more coming up here in just a little bit. Alex and Connie, we'll toss it back to you in the studio. Anthony, so much fun. I bet it's such a fun vibe out there. Oh, yeah. Got to love Alex it. and I want to come join you. We're so jealous. Yeah, yes, we should we bring are. you guys out next hour. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Lunch for everybody. I wonder... Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, what did she say? It's someone's getting called. <laughs> I know someone's phone is ringing, it's and it's because they want the here. music. <laughs> and they want the party to start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, Anthony. We'll see you next